out here tuning. Um, don't worry about the timing right now on that map. It's not the greatest, but it's just safe enough that it's not dead any. But get my boost levels targeted in, so I got a 22 pound map, 24 pound map, and we're about to go for a 26 pound run right now. Uh, my fueling is good. So the fuel rail setup, changing it over, did not um, take all the knockout. But what I think is making it fluctuate, it did do a lot better. So as you can see there, it's definitely a lot smoother. There definitely is some jaggedness, but um, it's definitely a lot better than what it was. But what I'm noticing is the knock comes in when it starts duty cycling it. Um, so I think with these injectors, I don't have any fuel dampening in the lines at all. Um, so I do have a set of the radium fuel rail dampeners. Um, we'll see if I want to toss those in. I might end up trying to do that. Um, but that should take away a lot of it because when I first start the car, the fuel pressure is pretty solid with the pump running at 100%. Um, but as soon as it starts duty cycling the pump, uh, it starts jumping around so um, yeah we're gonna go do this pull real quick and see if I got the 26 pounds dialed in as far as the control for boost and then the fueling is pretty good um, it's definitely rich but I'd rather stay on the rich side let's see where's my uh... so so obviously there's a pretty good dip but when it boost comes in drops down into I believe it's like a mid 10 um, I can lean that out 10-3 um, but then uh, it starts coming back so uh, there we go so this is kind of where I'm more concerned it's still low 11 um, all the way up to where are we at 12-0 um, I can clean up this a little and bring this. I want to try to target a 12.0 on E85 um, and maybe make this dip a little cleaner. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's in the ballpark. That's all I'm trying to do is clean it up as best I can for right now until I can take the time to clean everything up. But uh, it's going. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and put the camera up and uh, let you guys watch this uh, run. And let's see if I can get my 26 pounds. It's, this thing is definitely starting to move. All right, let me set up the laptop so I can log this. And everything's looking good so far, as good as it can. All right, let's go find a good spot to do a 26 pound run. much the drivability um, on low light loads and everything dialed in on the mass airflow um, I definitely utilize that ROM Raider uh, mass airflow uh, tool on there that'll go ahead and plot a bunch of data about different loads and everything like that and pretty much average them out and I went back in and cleaned up some specific spots that I didn't like what it did but uh, mainly with the AC, with the AC on and off idling, um, it had some kind of skewed number. So I get it. I went ahead and just halved what I saw, plugged in my own numbers, and we're good. We're plus minus like five percent. Um, you know, you get a little dip every once in a while. I might jump to like ten, but uh, I'm sitting at idle. It's pretty close to zero within a, a couple percent actually um, idling. But um, no, drivability is pretty smooth right now. the virtual dyno is i know it depends on the road and whatnot but 
so far between both the poles that I've done on 22 and 24 it was 450 and 480 so um, we're gonna try this 26 and let's see what it says and the timing definitely needs some cleanup uh, but like I said it's it's in an area where I know it's not knocking or anything like that and I can go back and clean it up based on the on the dyno plot. But other than that it's running good. Whoops. My bad. So I'm mainly trying to dial in the boost levels so that I know exactly where each one's at. Probably uh, uh, wastegate pressure uh, which I think is was sitting around 17-18 pounds. So I'll leave one at wastegate pressure but I'll probably do 22 pounds for sport and then, like I said 26 to 28 for uh, sport sharp duty cycle at 4,500 because um, it was trying to target 26 pounds but obviously it couldn't do it it overshot it and then they immediately tried to pull it back so we're right here we're at 73 percent duty cycle to hold 26 pounds so I went ahead and cleaned that up and I'm targeting 22 pounds here so the car shouldn't ramp in shouldn't ramp in this uh, duty cycle come in a little cleaner and smoother uh, I'm trying to stay out of boost um, till full boost till around 48 to 5 and I'll let it come all the way up but I'm trying to keep this as low as possible um, to keep the load off the car but yeah we're gonna clean it up let's go do another run and let's see how this looks all right take two take two at the 26 pounds Like I 
I said, for me, I want to be able to have my wastegate duty mapped out. Um, obviously, base pressure, um, and then do a 22, 24, 26. So I got those logged now. Got that 26 logged in right here pretty good. So. leave it on this 26 for right now to be able to get the timing back into it and see where we're at but uh that map sensor can only go up to 28 so I just noticed something interesting like I said I got the pulsation still that I can see obviously the fuel pressure but you can see here it peaks at 65 psi but as I keep going I'm losing fuel pressure and I drop all the way down to 50 49 49 50 yeah 49 50 pounds which obviously it's supposed to be going up and staying right here where it gets peak uh, boost it should be holding that all the way across here and it's definitely not so uh, I have the iWire hardwire kit um, so I'm pretty sure the pump wiring is not the issue um, I think maybe that pump is just not up to par it's just not being able to flow enough fuel um, so I do have the Walbro 450. Looks like we're probably going to have to toss it in uh, because that's definitely not good. Um, I do not need my fuel pressure dropping off at high RPMs because that could definitely be a problem. Luckily, um, even with the, the AFR, we're still uh, 12, 12 I think the leanest was like a 12 2, which is fine but this is definitely not this is not ideal this fuel pressure should be held up and that would bring this back down into the high 11 low 12s where it's supposed to be um, so I'm definitely gonna have to switch out that fuel pump and see if that makes any difference uh, for all I know maybe that might cause some of the uh, pulsation issues is uh, this AEM 340 that I have in here um, it's actually stamped AEM 320 it's an older pump that uh, Cobb used to sell so I don't know if it's the same pump, but that's what's in the car, and it doesn't look like it's able to keep up with the uh, with the demand that uh, this car needs right now. So, but yeah, I mean, so far, like these are the runs that it's been on: 484, 450, 460. Um, so, how accurate that is, I don't know. I'm just using it, like I said, for my boost levels. I got my 22, 24, 26 pounds. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, I'll have to swap out the fuel pump tomorrow. Uh, definitely done for the day today. But I just wanted to get this dialed in. I got it good enough to be able to drive around. And I definitely can have fun on the boost levels. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to check to see if I have my three boost levels so I should be able to have my three boost levels in there and I'm gonna go ahead and drive to go check and see how that feels so it should be 22 I think I got a 22 
wastegate 22 and 26. Yeah, pretty much wastegate 22, 26. So, I'm going to go drive this thing and let's go check it out. <laughs> 